It is a week before the next phase of lockdown ends, which is expected to end on the 17th. And uh, this meeting will perhaps decide on the exit strategy. The Prime Minister is meeting all the state chief ministers tomorrow at 3 p.m. where all the CMs can talk. Let me go over to my colleague uh, Sunil Prabhu for more on this. Uh, Sunil, thank you very much for joining us on the show. Well, we've seen uh, the Prime Minister meet the State Chief Ministers at least four times before during the lockdown. This is the fifth meeting. How different is this meeting going to be uh, this time around? Well, it's going to be uh, significantly uh, different uh, because this comes in the backdrop of the Chief uh, uh, cabinet secretary having meetings with chief secretaries as well as the health secretaries. Uh, there have been a differences of opinion between the center and the state. Uh, the state's upset uh, with the top-down approach, uh, with the centralization of power uh, from the cabinet secretary uh, and the health ministry in deciding which is red, which is orange, which is green. Uh, they would have wanted a little bit more of leeway for them to decide in terms of the district magistrate as well as the state administration to take uh, uh, is talk of the situation because they know the ground level better. It's in that backdrop that uh, they understand that they have to live with COVID. Uh, what is the way forward in terms of uh, reviving the economy? Uh, what is the way forward in terms of starting industry back again? Uh, these are some of the aspects which will have to be uh, looked at. The Prime Minister himself had indicated, if you see in the last the fourth uh, Chief Minister's meeting, uh, which really led to the easing uh, of the uh, uh, lockdown uh, in, in after 2.0, even though it was extended to 3.0, there will definitely uh, be certain containment zones, uh, certain red zones where that uh, lockdown will continue uh, in those areas. Uh, but I think uh, now, by and large, everybody understands that the economy has to revive. Uh, people need to understand about social distancing, to take safeguard measures. Uh, but uh, definitely, at this present stage, uh, the economy... Uh, as well as uh, various aspects of the country uh, which had been in lockdown for the last 47 days uh, needs to open up. You made a very interesting point about the eco economy kick-starting and the industry needs to start. But people who are meant to work in these uh, you know, uh, places, the, the migrant laborers, they are heading back home right now, whereas they should have gone probably in the beginning of the lockdown, they are heading back now. This confusion of them re, uh, uh, re, uh, going back to their home, uh, migrating uh, back, will this be uh, discussed also? Because there is no clarity on when they can come back. They are just beginning to go back. Well, uh, you, you bring an interesting point about the migrant labor and, uh, you know, the back to and fro uh, that has taken place in this country, uh, in particular from the center, whether first the train should be allowed uh, and then ultimately, good sense prevailed, trains were permitted, people were allowed to go leave in buses, Uttar Pradesh taking the lead about migrant labor. Uh, labor will definitely be a factor, and you've seen uh, the number of labor reforms that have been passed uh, and been ready uh, for cabinet approval. The cabinet, as you're well aware, Rika, has not met for the last two weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that's in that backdrop uh, that the prime minister today, as I said, was meeting chief ministers, will be talking about how to go forward in terms of what measures, what is the st economic stimulus, uh, what needs to be done for the micro, small industries. And it's with that hope uh, that once these, uh, uh, the, you know, the people get their salaries, uh, they will uh, rejoin work and help India's industry to revive at these very trying and difficult times.